Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. What we're going to do today is unbox and I'm going to set up my new Expedition 70 inch uh, plow blade that I purchased through Princess Auto. It was on sale for $350 plus tax, regular price is $500. So this comes with your push tubes, your uh, plow blade, your plow blade mount, um, a generic mount for underneath your ATV or UTV, and all your mounting hardware. And yes, I'm going to uh, set this up inside. It's uh, minus 20 outside right now. And there's everything out of the box and the wrappers. I must say this was packed extremely well. All right, so I hope you like puzzles. All right, once we have everything laid out here, what we're gonna do first is put the plow together. The plow blade comes in two pieces with this uh, silver part, which is gonna join the uh, two uh, plow blade pieces together. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your they call them the M8, part number 14, your nuts and your M8 locking nuts. Uh, again, this is part number 26. So we're going to use these to put this together. Just remember, once you do that, don't put them on tight. Just that way we can uh, play around with it a little bit before we tighten everything down. All right, we have these all in. Um, just a little note, these don't go in the outside holes. And also, if you want to tighten them down, it's a 13 millimeter socket. So I tighten the uh, back of the uh, nuts. Again, they're not snug down tightly, just somewhat loose right now. All right, the next step is to put our plow blade assembly together. It's gonna to be in three pieces. You're gonna have this part here, your center, and then your outer. You're gonna line those up. You have your holes right here. And you're gonna have this bracket. This is actually gonna to attach to the back of your plow. And you're gonna cinch this down. Again, it's 33 and 26 for your nuts and bolts. So we're gonna do this one, and this one through this hole here. And you can see it all together. All right, so we're gonna assemble the plow blade to the plow frame. It's gonna be four nuts and bolts. Lay it on just like that. Two here and two on this side. And this is just taking a look at the back of it now. All right, the next step is to install our four wear bars. These are gonna get installed on the front of the plow. And they're gonna be again using 3326 for the nuts and bolts. So we're gonna uh, install these and uh, tighten everything down, but just not too tight till we're uh, completely fitted.
And they're all snug down. And that's for the wear bar. All right, so the next step is we're gonna install the plow blade hinge pivot point. This bracket here, it's gonna go in here. It's gonna be a bolt here and a bolt here. It's a hex uh, number 12. And this is gonna be a 18 millimeter socket. This is quite tight in here, so that's why you need a little bit of play. So you want your nuts and bolts a little bit loose so you can wiggle this a little bit back and forth to squeeze this in. And because this is an area that's going to move around a little bit, I'm going to install a little bit of white lithium grease in this area here, here, and on the outside of the uh, pivot. That way it stops it from rusting over the years. So once they're installed, you want to back it off an eighth of a turn. That way you need this to be able to move just a tad. And again, you can see why I put a little bit of white lithium grease in there. All right, the next step is installing your trip springs. Just gonna go through, right like that. You have your eye hook. Put it through here. And put your nut here. And you're gonna tighten your nut down. And that's going to put tension on your trip spring. So we're going to do this one and the other side. And that's how it looks. So we'll tighten these a little bit more once it's installed on the ATV too. All right, so we're going to install the plow skid shoes. This is something that you're going to actually adjust once it's on the ATV. So a little groove there goes up here and you're going to tighten it down with your nut and bolt. All right, so the next step is we're going to uh, install our trip spring. So as you can see, we have the spring going through there, hooked to the trip spring lever. I found it easier just putting the spring on first, hooking it to here, and then you're going to pull this back into here, and then a nut and bolt going through this hole here, and then snug her down. And this is showing it all together. All right, so the next step is to install our plow pivot. So this is a plow pivot lever. It's going to go right there. And then your plow pivot uh, bracket is going to go on the other side. And you're going to bolt them with a 36 and a 24 bolt. One thing is you're going to want to make sure you coat this in grease because this is going to be a part that the blade's actually going to pivot around on. So you want to make sure that's greased well so it doesn't rust. All right, let's just take a look at the underside. All right, and one other thing. This bolt here, you want to uh, back it off an eighth of a turn. That way you want this to be able to pivot. If not, you won't be able to pivot your plow blade. So the next step is installing your push tubes. They're gonna mount just like this. You're gonna use your carriage bolts. They're number 34. One through here, one through here and a nut on each side, and this is calling for a washer on this one. So we're gonna install this one and the other side. All 
Then you're going to install the uh, top of the push tubes. Just going to go through here. Number 25 bolt, 26 nut, and this is also calling for a washer. So we'll install this one and this one. So the next step is installing this bracket here. This is what actually connects to underneath your side-by-side -side or your ATV. So it's gonna mount just like this with uh, four nuts of bolts. Uh, again, this is using washers and it's a number 25 uh, bolts. Alright, so we're going to install the plow blade stops. As you can see, you have the two indentations here. If you put, push the uh, blade ahead, you'll see a little hole. A little harder to see. I'm actually going to have to back off the springs a little bit so I can actually push the blade ahead a little bit so we can get the uh, bolt in there. All right, so this is going to end up being a two part video. First part is going to be putting the plow together. Those are the brackets that are going to go on the ATV or side by side. And uh, the second video is actually going to be installing this either on my 800 Z Force. CF Moto or my Bombardier Quest 650. So make sure you hit that subscribe and the bell notification and you'll get notified when this is installed and the uh, next video is live. Hopefully within the next few days. And again, this is something anybody can do with some basic hand tools. And this took probably about two hours to put together, just taking my time. But it's very heavy. It's definitely a two-person job to uh, get this out to the garage next. Thanks for watching.